National Air Force Museum. Yep. Is that right? Of course we're at the National Air Force Museum. It's really cool. Christmas presents for all the people in our lives. Number one. Oh yeah. You can do it. Mm-hmm. You got it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Woohoo. I think I'll get the I think I'll get the little one. I'll take the keychain off and just put it in the window. Woohoo! Where are the biological, what do we call it? I can't remember. Basically, Help us out. The aliens. Aliens. Are you allowed to say the A word? You are if you're talking about someone from space. Wow. This is quite a museum. It's free. The National Museum of the Air Force. I think I said it wrong earlier. It's a lot, and it's free. Come on. Did you pull something, boss? Out we go. All right, that was a short visit so far. Someone pulled a fire alarm. Can you believe it? <laughs> we hope it's just a test. Yeah, hopefully there's not a real fire. There is a fire. A hamburger was burning up on the cafe, so and it set the fire alarm off. So we're gonna wait and see. Get yeah. back in, hopefully. Yeah. Don't burn in burgers. I cannot imagine. Even start to imagine that's going in the air <laughs> with me on it much less going to fight any war any kind of military flyer that was yeah the 1909 military flyer i i mean seriously you're going to fight <laughs> this is so far from jared's f-35 <laughs> Fort Sam Houston has a pretty great dam camp too, by the way. Engines, airplanes, Ooh, wind tunnel. I wonder how long it takes to get through here. Looks mind. like there's a lot, of, if you read everything. If you read everything, you're gonna be here three, Hours? Maybe more? Unless you're a speed reader. Unless you're a speed reader. If you're riding this thing up front, you've got some guts. I know. You are one brave person. I mean, what? Uh, Just riding it ain't brave, but getting hey. up there, you know. Look at that machine gun up front there. I mean, what do you. Yeah. Oh, there's another guy in there. Yeah. You got a friend up there. 
be scared together. So the, this is the Italian plane. It's four, four people. I can't imagine your ceiling is 14,000, almost 15,000 feet. Imagine being in this 15,000 feet in the Just air. Just open air. No thanks. There's the ambulance. Yep. Model T cars and trucks. I wonder how much this thing broke down. Ambulance is coming to get you. Colorful little plan. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this is a good place to come. If you like Air Force history for sure, if you like flying history, war, it's really good. I mean, war, yeah, it goes back. From the early, it really starts in the 1700s and it goes from there. But really, it, the yeah. early 1900s is start of flying. Yeah, and it goes from there. It has the Wright Brothers stuff. It has some Italian planes, uniforms. Yeah, it's got all the different engines through the years. Totally free. Aircraft. Totally Not the free. movies. They have some movies. D-Day, fighter pilots. Those are ten dollars. Yep. And there's a great gift shop. So. If you're ever in Dayton, Ohio, come check out the museum. Yeah, come check it out. There's aircraft outside, too. Hopefully, we'll get a couple uh, pictures of those. Yeah. There you go, you're off. Nice work. Whoa! Good job, Lieutenant. Oh, hold these up. Not to scare me. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I gotta get up here now. Oh, move, up, move up. to the target. It's telling you to move to the target. Nice. Jared gets it from me. Yep. Alrighty. There's so much stuff in here, there's no way I could remember all I could see. It is amazing. Wow. Free. Free. This place doesn't end. We're sure of it, so we have to end. Right? Not yet. <laughs> I'm hungry. We gotta end this. We gotta go get something to eat. We need a snack. Wow. Talent supported design and construction of launch and tracking facilities. You need about five hours and some snacks. There is a lot to see here. Mamma mia. I should have turned on my watch. Yeah, SR-71 Blackbird. A little spaceship over there. I'm signing out. I'll be at the front sitting down. You can come find me. I'll come find you in a little bit. Well, they close in like 30 minutes, so we gotta go. Gotta go.
So this is the aircraft that was uh, during uh, President Kennedy's time. And this aircraft is the one when Kennedy was killed, Lyndon B. Johnson took the oath of office in this aircraft. So when he was assassinated. Assassinated, absolutely. As you know, this is Air Force One. They're only Air Force One when the president's on board. Outside of that, the call sign for this one is Sam 26000. Sam. Sam. But anytime the president's on board any of the, those birds, it becomes Air Force One. I went in that one, and I think it was Eisenhower. It's just creepy because it's all glassed off, so you feel like you're walking down a tunnel. But it's cool seeing how little room they had to work. I bet this is more of a palace. Nothing like the current ones today, but yes. It's like you're president. Yes. Way up to the people. Oh. <laughs> you okay, honey? So you just have to kind of pay attention to this little Sure. This is what you're talking about with it being glass down like yes. this. Yes. It's weird. I like how the seats face each other. I would like that on a regular. Yeah. That way they can hold meetings. Well, I know why they're doing, but I mean, for you and I in a trip, we could face each other. Yeah. We could all sit next, you know. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Why not? We should have a couple, like for families. Yeah, you just pay for a section. Yeah. A little claustrophobic in here. Is this like where all the media well, I mean, sits? Think of it being president. No, president Our storage, linen. Yeah, so this would have been their private office here? This is a lot more than that other plane. A lot more room. And obviously you take these glass out of the way. Yeah. I'll tell you, the 747 yeah, currently it, uses way bigger. It is. It's a big old fax machine. <laughs> a copy machine. Yeah, typewriter. Oh. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many seats on the passenger airline? I would have pictured that there's less seats and more amenities for... Well, the current, the current Air Force One has yeah. like an entire bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> there are signs on the, on the glass. Yeah, plexiglass. So that's say it. That yeah. tell you where things happen. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of people miss that. There's extra seats things. for the press corps. I am claustrophobic. This would not work for me. Oof. Yuck. Okay, we're done. What'd you get yourself? A little treat? Us. Us. Homemade sea salt double caramel. Mm. Should have had that to get through. Could have gave me more energy to get through. All right, that's a wrap for us at the National Museum of the Air Force. There's a and lot in there. There is so much in there, and I would tell you the parts that I liked the best was the very end, yeah. where they had all the presidential planes plus the Southwest Asia stuff that I was a part of. So, uh, gosh, you need you need at least five hours in here. <laughs> you can go all the way to the back and then work your way forward. Maybe that would save some time. Yeah. But we didn't even see anything outside, and they have planes outside. Yeah. So we're gonna eat some ice cream and regroup for dinner. Yeah. Hey, until next time. Seatbelts on. Seatbelts on. Seatbelts on. Seatbelts on.